imagine it starts with the defense. Oh, of course. I mean, I mean, listen, 148, I don't think I've ever in my basketball life given up 148 points, not even probably even playing video games. So, so they got everything that they wanted, inside, outside. They had us moving. Big Adams is a monster. Russ controlled the whole tempo. Paul George started off hitting threes. Mello was, they was all solid. And uh, defensively, I mean, we, we scored 124. We still lost by 20. Um, so a lot to break down. We got 11 o'clock practice tomorrow. It's going to be so much to break down, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So. I mean that's just a it's just a really bad really bad loss you know on our part. LeBron, you guys have lost the blowouts. Are they indicative that something is something is more wrong than just losing? What did I tell you two days ago? What did I tell y'all two days ago? What did I say we were in? Struggle. All right. So I don't want to keep answering the same questions. But that's what we are. So it's not it's not a surprise. I mean we want to come out and play well, but when we don't, it's like. That's the, that's the state that we're in right now. You got to try to figure out and get out of it. Anyone else? Your chase from 30,000, was it disappointing or frustrating at all that you didn't get it to the home? Uh, it's never a chase. It's never been a chase. I don't, I don't chase points. You guys know me by now. I don't chase, I don't chase anything uh, when it comes to scoring. Uh, when I get it, I get it, and that's how I've got to this point in my career. So uh, it's never been a chase. The disappointment is that we lost. So um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Um, I have another opportunity, <clears throat> you know, to to me, you know get that feet on on Tuesday. But it's never been a chase. Yeah. That's not that's not my career. Hey, Brian, you don't have to see film to know all that's wrong. What's problem number one? Ah, uh, that's that's way too hard. We got a lot of we got a lot of things going on. So it's not. It's not one. It's one, two, three, four, you know, five. We gotta, you know, do some some searching and figure out how we can do better. Anything else? Are you are you concerned that something could happen with Ty? Um, I would hope not. I would hope not. I mean, um, but I, I really don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with our team. Um. I have no idea what's what's the conversations been going on. I'm just, for me personally, been trying to stay as, as laser sharp as I can to make my keep my guys uh, ready to go out and play. And obviously, it hasn't resulted in wins. And um, but I got to stay as fresh as and mentally as as much as I can. Um, even with the struggles, I can't worry about you know jobs, securities, and trades and things of that nature. I just I'm stay as focused as I can every night to. Go on and compete and try to help us win ball games. Knowing your importance to this team, why are you able to do that right now? Um, it is what it is. I mean, I, if I can't break, I'm the last one that can break at this point, you know. And uh, I'm the leader of this team, and, and like I said, I you know I want to, you know, hope we can get some wins, and, and uh, that definitely helps. But you know, I, I'm gonna stay as positive as I can be, and like I, you guys know me, patience has not always been a thing for me. But uh, you know, knowing the rough patch that we're in right now. Uh, that's what I'm gonna give to this team, and just say it's positive. And, and like I said, tomorrow we, we got practice at 11. You know, clean up a lot of things, but you know, just just keep pushing forward. Would lineup changes surprise you? Uh, I don't know, Marla. I don't know. I mean, listen, I'm gonna come to work. I come to work every day. You know, 11 o'clock practice. I'm there at nine. Game start at 3:30. I'm here at 11:30. I punch my clock in every single day, give everything to the game and to this team. So I don't I can't focus on what the lineup change may be or if there is or you know, if something's going on with our coaching staff and things of that nature, I'm gonna play um, you know, my game and you know, I'm gonna give you know my my attention to the coaching staff when you know we're going over our game plan. I'm gonna give them all my energy and effort to my teammates when we're ready to go out there and play. So you know, I can control what I can control and that's how I've always lived my life. Ron, you were on a previous team that made four really long postseason runs. And is there any accumulation factor that could be a play for this group of trying to you know, go through? Yeah, we're not ready for the playoffs. We can't even start thinking about that. Not the way we're playing right now. We can easily get bounced early in the playoffs if they started next weekend. So, you know, I haven't even began thinking about the postseason. But Dwayne did say earlier this year that when you guys were in Miami in the fourth year, you kind of got sick of each other in year four. Do you think any of that is? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a lot of things that went on <laughs> back in those days. Um, 
Uh, we still we still made a finals run, but we came up short. San Antonio was clicking at the right time, obviously. You know, and took advantage of what we were trying to do offensively and defensively. So I don't know. I don't know. You brought you weathered mid season storms before. Is this a bad one? Um just wanna keep working on habits. I'm not here to I'm just here to get better. I want to get better. You know, we're in a tough spot right now, but we we will get better. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. We could be 15th in the East, you know, or, or out of the playoff picture. So, you know, we still got to, you know, get back to what we do, and um, we will figure it out. But I'm not here to, you know, look for pity on what we're trying to do. Like, no one's going to feel sorry for us, and I don't feel sorry for us either. I want us to get better.